I, w I got interested in intelligent design when I was a, a PhD student again. But I've never really been very attracted to it. But that's not so much on scientific grounds, but more on theological grounds. And that's because the idea of a god who can't get the world right the first time around seems somehow to be God's a demeaning creation, a demeaning of God's, of God's power. I mean, this goes back to Newton and Leibniz, a very famous exchange they had. So Newton, when he worked out his gravity, he worked out that, okay, in the solar system, these planets are pulling on each other, so the system's unstable. It may, like, fly out. So he thought God occasionally reforms the planets. He comes in and he fixes it. Well, it's not working right. And Leibniz, his great contemporary and rival, said, well, now that's nonsense because um, surely this demeans God's creation if he couldn't get it right the first time. Yes. And moreover, Leibniz says, God doesn't do miracles for wants of nature. He does them for wants of grace. In other words, God does miracles for redemptive purposes, not just to fix things in the past. And to a large extent, I feel ID, although it's couched in this non-Christian language, for me as a Christian, what it's saying is God didn't quite do it right in in biological history, he had to reform this at various times. And I think, well, why did God have to do these kind of miracles in that way? I'm not saying he can't do it, personally he could. It just seems theologically unlikely to me. And if God did do it that way, then I would expect in Scripture to see very clear examples of that being the way that God created. That's not the way Scripture talks about creation. And so therefore, I think, in the end of the day, my biggest problem with ID has to do with Scripture. I don't think it's a scriptural. I don't think it's biblical. I'm much happier with young earth creation science. I can see why a biblical interpretation would bring that, although I think it's wrong. Right? But at least we both, agree, we both have the same starting points. But ID is somehow divorced itself from scripture. And I think that's dangerous. And so I've never been very attracted to it for that very reason. I thought, well, as a Christian, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And so I don't, that's independent of whether it makes any scientific sense or not, which I don't think it does.